Welcome back everybody, my name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Tonight we're gonna do a review of a brand new 2022 Renegade Verona 40 VRV. But before we get started, let's say hello to Abby. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Abby, as always, thanks <laughs> for helping out with the camera. Of course, my pleasure. Let's get started. So the Renegade Verona is built on the Freightliner M2 chassis with the 106 cab. New for 2022, the 8.9 liter is gonna give 360 horsepower and 1150 on the torque. They pair that up to the Allison 3200 truck transmission and this guy can tow 20,000 pounds. Whoa. Now the gross combined on this is 60,000 pounds and the GVW is only 34.3 so it can actually tow the whole 20,000 pounds. Let's do the tire size, we'll get the cargo carrying capacity, look in some compartments and we'll jump on the inside. All right. So this has the Bridgetone tires and they are 295, 75, 22.5s on some really nice Alcoa wheels. Cargo carrying capacity of this bath and a half Renegade Verona is 6,919 pounds. That's oh. great. That's amazing. All right, so new for 2021 and continued into 2022, Renegade is offering a bunk over the cab with a really nice windshield. We'll take a look at that when we get inside. But it's a fiberglass front cap. They do a really nice fiberglass transition into the body. I really like that. This is full body paint with the frameless windows, power Gerard awning with an LED light on it. They have a brand new TV for 2022. Wow. Samsung TV with a really nice sound bar. Great. Gotta love that. Got some USB charging ports right there. Um, you do have your uh, microwave vented outside. I love that feature. Let's take a look in some compartments. Okay. Compartments, double latched double hinged with the strut, steel compartments with the carpet, and they also have LED lights. Beautiful. I love their compartment doors. Listen to how this thing shuts. All right, listen. Wow. Sounds like a car door shutting. It does. But next compartment, they give you a 110 outlet on the GFI circuit, and a little spin out in the floor to be able to take that cord down through the floor rather than close it in the door. Great and idea. And again, that'll have an LED light in it. Oh, sorry, yep, I'm this way. Love how that sounds. Another compartment. This one does go under the frame rail a little bit, and again, you got an LED light in there. Love this color. All right, moving on back. Another compartment right here. This one goes even further under the frame rail because you have no drive shaft back here behind the axle, and you got an LED light in there as well. Last compartment. You have your hitch. That hitch has a 2 and 5 16 ball and a 2 inch ball on it. And you got an LED light in there. Coming around to the back, you have a two piece fiberglass cap. The top section is separate from the bottom section. In case you were to take a hit in the rear, you're replacing just the bottom bumper section instead of the whole cap. This does have turn signal cameras and a backup camera. And they give you a 20,000 pound hitch with the seven pin connector and a Voyager data feed for a trailer camera. There's also a switch on the dash that you can switch between truck and trailer. The exhaust for the generator is coming out the back, nowhere near slide out, so less likely for those fumes to get up underneath of the slide out. Coming around to the side, shower is right there. I want to make sure that's a shower. <laughs> I, I, had, I had to use the outside shower the other day. On ours? Yeah, I cleaned our bikes off after the rain. That's funny. It was the first yep. time ever. Nice. I really like that they're putting the outdoor shower here because they don't put one in the wet bay. It's just a sprayer port, 
And this one's gonna give you hot and cold water. So say you're coming back from the beach or the lake and you got sand or mud on you, you can rinse that off before you head inside. Or if you got dirt all over your bike. Yeah, or you got dirt all over your bike or your body. <laughs> all right, so this one, it has your short power cord in it on a power reel. And you have your auto transfer switch with the built-in surge guard. They give you a 110 outlet on the GFI circuit. There's another LED light in there. And they're also giving you an electrical step down from 50 to 30 amps. Cool. Really nice. I dig it. I do too. Next one is your AKW quiet diesel generator. More than enough to run everything in this coach at the same time. I do like that they're putting these four screws in there because if you remove those four screws, you can pull that generator right out for a major service. You won't need that for any routine maintenance, but it does make it easy to remove. Right here is your wet bay. Very nice. They hydro cut in all the labels. Um, this one does have a power hose reel. You got your black and gray dumps, your sewer flush, your park cable, your tank and city water diverter, a low point drain for your fresh uh, for your plumbing system, and you have an outside spigot for this sprayer hose with a full house filtration. They even give you a space to store your sewer tube right there. They even have spelled out spigot. I don't even think spigot. I ever knew how to spigot. spell that. Spigot. <laughs> so you do have two exhaust pipes on this side. One is for the engine, the big one. The other one is for the hydronic, and we're gonna get to that in a little bit here. These next two compartments are your waste tanks. So Renegade is known for high capacities. You have 150 gallons of fresh water under the bed, two 75 gallon waste tanks. And one thing I really like about their wet bay, they give you a spin out right underneath of your sewer connection. So when you take that cap off, you take the spin out out first, and if there's any residual water in there, it's gonna drip onto the ground instead of into your compartment. Then you hook your sewer tube up and you run it down through that spin out that's a little further back. Cool. There's your other 75 gallon waste tank. This one is your Aqua Hot 250D. Abby, that's going to take care of your heat and on demand hot water. Very cool. For endless hot showers, you maybe? Got it. You got it. I love that system. Really, really nice. So you can take a nice hot long shower and heat the coach with this. Almost makes this coach four seasons. That one contains the new, all new, 3000 watt hybrid inverter. Very, very nice inverter. Next compartment over, we got your truck batteries on the left over here, and this one does have the optional lithium batteries. Uh, also in there, you're gonna see you got your Victron energy controller for the batteries. Over here, right in the back, you have the connection for your air compressor, which is gonna be 18.7 cubic foot per minute at 120 PSI. You can fill bikes, rafts, even an RV tire. It'll take a little longer for that. <laughs> right up here, you have your DEF or diesel exhaust fluid, and you do have twin 50 gallon fuel tanks connected by an Equiflow tube. Um, it will flow from one tank to the other with the ignition on, but my recommendation is go to the uh, truck stops where they have the satellite pumps. You're 30 gallon a minute, and you're five minutes and you're done. Very nice. Engine block heater is right there. Up here, you have your power heated top mirrors. The bottom are your blind spot mirrors. This is prepped for a CV with that antenna. Now this does have a fiberglass roof and both of the slide outs have nice slide toppers with protection. You got your turn signal camera all the way up here in the front. And Abby, that's the outside of this coach. Well, let's go take a look at the inside of this beautiful coach. Let's do it. All right, Abby, slides are in. Come on in, let's show them how you can get to the mid bath, refrigerator, and the bedroom with the slide outs closed. I mean, it's wide, it's wide open. I don't know why we do this in a Renegade. There's plenty of space. Oh, man, no. Yeah, there's no obstacles here. Great. And is this the bathroom? How Half cute. Bath. So if you want, want to take a shower, you got to hop over the bed. Well, you're not showering while you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's open it up and show them the rest. All right. All right, let's start at the cab and we'll work our way back. So new for 2022, the Renegade Verona has brand new seats with a knee bolster. So that's gonna give you uh, support behind your legs so you're not trying to get fatigued by holding your legs up. They also got side bolsters for the legs and side bolster for your body with adjustable armrests. Very nice, you can just swivel this here and it will adjust the armrests. Um, you do have power mirrors over here. They are heated. 
you have a brake controller already underneath of the steering wheel there. Right next to that is a pedal for the tilt and telescope wheel. You got an air horn, you got your city horn. In the middle, they have a new upgraded Garmin tablet. It's a much a bigger screen, and that allows you to put in your profile for your Garmin RV GPS. So you can put your height and your weight and length and all that stuff, and it'll route you around any restrictions. Now, new for 2022, they do have a suspension uh, lowering system there, so you can hook up to a trailer. Um, you got your power locks, you got your brake controller, and your speed control. Um, this one does have the all-new safety suite, which is going to give you a lane departure warning as well as a adaptive cruise and collision mitigation system. Looks like somebody took the ashtray out. Ashtray. Yeah, isn't that weird? There we go. There we go. It's back in. So uh, your safety suites here. That's your tire pressure monitoring system. Very nice. Uh, this is part of that system. Then there's also a sensor in the bumper out here. And this one is prepped for a CB right there. And um, it has an ashtray, everyone. Yep. Yeah. These Seriously. Seats, these seats are heated and air ride. Very nice. And they do cool. swivel around to become part of the living space. In 2021, they introduced the new bunk over the cab with the built-in windshield there. And there's a nice feature on that. You can actually retract or extend the shade up there to give you some privacy or to block the light out so you can sleep. Um, this one does have a built-in TV up there. Do you see that TV behind the I don't. Here? Where is it? I was just kidding. I see it. All right, this actually <laughs> slides forward. You can take the mattress out, put it on top of the other mattress, and this will slide forward. So you can walk in and out of the cab without banging your head on that. That's cool. Um, they do have air conditioning ducts right here that go into the bunk over the cab. So whoever's sleeping up front isn't going to get overheated. Very nice. I love it. So this does have the Firefly multiplex system. You're going to have panels like this throughout the coach and then a touch screen as well. You got a little bit of storage over the door here. Now, normally you're going to see the TV there, but since this is the bath and a half, they put your dining table up front, which does go down to a sleeper. All right, everybody, here's where I'm going to ask you for some help. This channel is about bringing you awesome new product like this and taking your feedback back to the manufacturers. So do me a favor and leave me some feedback in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. I'm also going to try something new. When I have a new model year of something come in and I get one floor plan, as soon as I start doing videos of the other floor plans, I'm going to put them in the description below this video. So this is the bath and a half. Take a look out for the 36 VSV and the 40 VBH. And then you have your either your trifold sleeper sofa or these optional feeder seats. Feeder seats give you some cup holders with USBs and a little tray in the back, and they do recline out. Those are out super cool. Flat. These are really nice recliners. Um, yeah. With the recliners, they're going to give you these nice uh, pockets on these little end tables here, and they do have nice Corian, just like this. That's a the, good idea. And you got one on this side as well. A little magazine holder, whatever you want to put in there. An ashtray nice. and a magazine holder. Yeah, I feel like, I like I'm going that. back in time. Lots of compartments over top the sofa and dinette. They all have tension hinges on them, so they're going to stay put wherever you leave them. I like that a lot. Very cool. I mean, this has a pretty big kitchen. The bunk model is going to give you the biggest kitchen. The bath and a half is going to give you the next biggest kitchen. So you got a single basin sink up here with the residential pull-out sprayer faucet. Very nice. Nice kitchen window. Beautiful. Lots yep. of glass tile backsplash. Look at the storage up here. You got built-in shelves. Very, very nice. Lots of storage there. All of your AV has been relocated to over top of the convection microwave oven. So you got your Blu-ray player and your all of your AV stuff up there because now they have the bunk over the cab so they don't put it there anymore. Very big convection microwave oven. I think you can get a casserole in there. I think so. <laughs> right here is all of your 12 volt fuses and your 110 breakers. Now they do two boxes. One of them is going to show you what you have on your primary inverter. And then the other one will show you what runs off of generator and short power only. Under here, since this is an all-electric coach, you have the dual 
uh, what is that? What do they call that? Dual range true induction cooktop. <laughs> Spit it two out. Burner, two burner. There you go. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> two burner, uh, true induction. You got your waste basket under there. Cool. Very nice. A little bit of storage on this side. Pretty good. And then over here, they give you three soft closed drawers. Very nice soft closed drawers right there. All new for 2022, you have a new style Samsung dual. Uh, French door refrigerator. Wow. wow. That's huge. I love that. With a pull-out drawer on the bottom. Oop, I gotta unlatch that. And they do put those nice latches on there. It does have an ice maker built into this. And they even have a drawer underneath there. Very nice. Everyone's gonna come over to your campsite and be like, can I put your stuff can in? Can I put some stuff in your refrigerator? Yeah. We've done that before. <laughs> you got some storage up there. I Very nice. Also in there, you have the uh, ice maker cutoff switch, that little white knob all the way in the back corner. Oh, okay. Um, TV is on a swivel arm right here. Oh, and okay. And it's a larger TV for 2022 with mm -hmm. a nice sound bar there. You got some storage over top of your TV. What do you call that? Liquor cabinet? No, <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> I think oh, the kids yeah. would find it there. Not that our kids are going to get to the liquor cabinet. Got a little bit of storage here and a fireplace. I love that fireplace. So that's going to be electric heat. Or if you just want lighting and ambiance, you can do that as well. And they did not forget the pantry. That's right over here. Very good size pantry. Shelves, adjustable shelves up top and pull out soft closed drawers on the bottom. Very nice. Pantries are important. They are. <laughs> right here in the hallway, you have your uh, stackable washer and dryer. The thing I like about that is they are on their own shelves. So if you have to remove one, you don't have to remove the other one to do that. And right here you have your midship half bathroom. Abby, I'm loving these new toilets with the soft closed lids. <laughs> <laughs> they are so nice. So that's a porcelain toilet with a resin lid, push button flush, macerating toilet. Okay, let me get in here. And very, very nice. A little bit of storage over top of the toilet. Put your extra toilet paper or whatever. And you do have a medicine cabinet here behind the mirror. Wow, that's big. And a little bit of countertop space around your sink. They give you a hand towel holder there. And you can put a wastebasket in there, I think. What do you think? I like that. Very nice. You got a fan in here. Now this mm -hmm. is your half bath. It is a bath and a half, so we do have um, a full bathroom in the rear, but we're gonna go to the bedroom next. Pocket door here at the bedroom. Pocket door at the rear bath. I gotta love that. Um, in the bedroom, they do give you two upper wardrobes. You got a bedroom television. Now they have a touch panel right here and there's also one out in the living space. That's new for 2022. They're giving you two touch panels for the Firefly system. Nice thing about the Firefly system, it does have a mobile app called Vega Touch Mirror. You can operate the coach from your mobile device. These two wardrobes are connected. You can take out that middle panel. You wanna hang your, uh, what'd you say? Your trench coat or your Fire. choir robe, yeah. I just don't know what I was. But I don't go. know why you would have... Well, I never had one, so it didn't make sense to me, but now it makes sense because you had a choir robe. <laughs> uh, all of your AV stuff for the bedrooms right there. You got some four soft closed drawers there, two really big ones right here, and a little bit more storage right there. Now, this model does have a king bed. They do give you nightstands on either side of the bed with USB and 110 uh, outlets. You also have some storage over top of the bed and a nice touch panel for your multiplex system. Under the bed, you got your 150 gallon water tank. Then we have the rear bathroom. Wow. I'm digging this rear bathroom, corner radius shower. I feel like you have like a show. Plenty big enough. Like if you leave that door open, they can just watch, watch you take a shower. <laughs> There's a pocket door right there, Abby. <laughs> well, you, that's why I said, yeah, leave it open. Got plenty of room to wash my beard because I don't have any hair. He's got and plenty of room in there, guys. They do give you a nice soap dispenser, shampoo holder, and a little soap tray right here too. They even put a shut-off valve on that on the shower head. I like that. This is a, a this bathroom goes all the way across the rear of the coach. You got a nice that medicine is clear. cabinet. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> nice fan in here. Look at all that countertop space for your products. Products. What are you days. trying to Look say, Jimmy? What are you trying to say? Look at that. You even got a shelf below and a, and a shelf up. Actually, top. there's room. I could get more. Look at this. Another soft closed toilet. I love that. Oh look, linen closet. What do you think? Big enough? Absolutely. That's gigantic. Very nice. 
You even have a hand towel ring, a regular towel holder, more storage right there. And I believe there's a little bit of storage underneath of the sink. And they put your toilet paper roll holder there. That's actually good. Can I reach that? Oh, absolutely. Very nice. <laughs> I don't know if I could, but I'll just prepare. You just have to lean off the toilet. <laughs> All right, this is very nice. Let's give them a one through and we'll wrap this up. All right, everyone. The new 2022 Renegade Verona. She's beautiful. Abby, this one is still available. What? Yes. We haven't had many Renegades come in here that aren't sold, but this one is still available. Um, so if you would like to know more or if you have any questions, uh, 2022 Renegade Verona 40 VRB bath and a half. Uh, you can text, call, or email me information is right there thank you for taking the time to watch this video stay tuned for more thanks everyone for watching please subscribe